Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, today's topic is solved problems of a rectangular waveguide. Especially in this session, I will explain you how to solve the numericals as far as the TE mode, that is transverse electric mode of a rectangular waveguide are concerned. I have made a list of formulae. So first formula, let me first explain you what are these formulas and then we will discuss how to solve the numericals. So first is cutoff frequency. The notation is Fc, F to the base C. So it is C upon 2A. This notation C is representing the speed of light in free space. And we know that value of speed of light is 3 into 10 raised to 8 meters per second. So look at the formula, cutoff frequency is Fc, C upon 2A. In case of waveguides, the dimensions are, uh, major dimensions are in terms of breadth and width of a waveguide. So A represents breadth of a waveguide. So C upon 2A is the formula to calculate cutoff frequency. If the medium is not air, something else, then in that case, the generalized formula is 1 upon 2 square root of mu epsilon into 1 by A. Again, A is the breadth of waveguide. Mu is permeability. Epsilon is permittivity. And if the medium is not free space, then we know the standard formula mu is mu 0 mu r. Epsilon is epsilon 0 into epsilon r. Second formula, the phase velocity or velocity of propagation. It is Vp, which is equals to C. Again, same. C is the speed of light upon square root of 1 minus Fc upon F bracket square. This Fc is cutoff frequency. F is the operating frequency. Third, guide wavelength. Notation is lambda g, which is the lambda upon square root of 1 minus Fc by F square. This term lambda, they go, ye lambda g hai, ye guide wavelength represent karta. Ye jo notation hai lambda, this is generalized wavelength. You may call it as operating wavelength. And this operating wavelength is given as C upon F. Again, C is the speed of light and F is the operating frequency. So, guide wavelength is lambda upon square root of 1 minus Fc by F bracket square. Then group velocity, notation is VGR, which is equals to C, again speed of light, square root of 1 upon 1 minus Fc by F square. One important part, if it is mentioned in the question that the operating mode is TE10 mode, then it is also called a dominant mode because in case of rectangular waveguide and if you are concerning about transverse electric mode, then TE10 is the dominant mode and do remember the basic formula for dominant mode or for TE10 mode, cutoff wavelength lambda C, as I have lambda is the wavelength, base is C, so it is cutoff wavelength should be equals to 2 times A, A is the breadth of waveguide. Now let us solve few numericals. So first problem is an air filled rectangular waveguide. It is clearly mentioned it is air filled. That means the medium inside the waveguide is air. Rectangular waveguide of dimensions 8 into 4 centimeter. Up they go. While reading the numericals, uh, you should be habituate of writing the given things in terms of notation. So this, this, these are the dimensions, 8 into 4 centimeters. So A that is breadth is equals to 8 centimeter, which is equals to A into 8 into 10 raised to minus 2 meters. Then B that is width is 4 centimeter. So which is equals to 4 into 10 raised to minus 2 meters. These are the given dimensions and it is mentioned the operating mode is T10 mode. That means it is dominant mode. Recall the things what we studied in earlier videos. When we say TE10, it is corresponding to TEMN notations where M represents number of half waves. Similarly, N again represents number of half waves in two different directions. So M is 1, N is 0. So it is TE10 mode. First part. We have to calculate cutoff frequency. So, cutoff frequency, we have these two formulae, but in the question, it is mentioned that medium or rectangular waveguide is air filled. So, we have to make use of first formula. So, Fc is C by 2A. So, 
एफ सी इज इक्व टू सी अपॉन टू ए सी स्पीड ऑफ लाइट विच इज थ्री इंटू टेन रेस टू एट मीटर पर सेकंड अपॉन टू इंटू वैल्यू ऑफ ए एज एट सेंटीमीटर सो इट इज एट इंटू टेन रेस टू माइनस टू सो एंसर ऑफ दिस कट ऑफ फ्रिक्वेंसी इज वन पॉइंट एट सेवन फाइव गीगा हर्ट्स डू रिमेंबर दिस गीगा हर्ट्स इज टेन रेस टू नाइन हर्ट्स means as per as possible uh, try to express the answer in terms of uh, gigahertz then second part phase velocity at the operating frequency 3.5 gigahertz this operating frequency is given operating frequency is denoted by f don't get confused f is cut off frequency f is operating frequency so it is 3.5 gigahertz again same logic gigahertz means it is 3.5 into 10 raised to 9 hertz. So this is the given value of operating frequency. We need to calculate phase velocity at this operating frequency. So corresponding formula of phase velocity is this one. V P is equals to C upon under root of this value. So C is 3 into 10 raised to 8 meters per second. That is speed of light upon square root of 1 minus Look at the notations F C upon F bracket square. So F C is we have calculated in the first part one point eight seven five gigahertz means one point eight seven five into ten raised to nine upon F C by F. So F is the operating frequency which is given in the question three point five into ten raised to nine. So if you solve this on the calculator, then value of V P is three five five. Point two eight eight into ten raised to six meters per second. You can well convert it in terms of kilometers per second and so on. So this is the uh, answer of second part. That is, we calculated the value of phase velocity. Now third part. In the third part, it is asked to calculate guide wavelength. We have this formula to calculate guide wavelength. Notation is lambda g. So lambda g is equals to lambda upon this value. But for this, I need to calculate value of lambda. So let us first calculate the value of lambda. We know that lambda is c by f. C is the speed of light, three into ten raised to eight upon f is the operating frequency, which is given in the second part, which is three point five into ten raised to nine. So Answer of this operating wavelength is point not eight seven five one, and it is the wavelength. So its unit is meters. So point zero or uh, point not eight seven five one is the value of operating wavelength lambda. Now lambda g, I am making use of this formula lambda upon this value. So it is point zero eight seven five one. Upon under root of same this term one minus one point eight seven five into ten raised to nine divided by three point five into ten raised to nine bracket square. So if you solve this, this answer will be ten point fifteen centimeters. I have converted the answer in centimeters. So this is the way to solve the numericals as far as this TE one zero board and rectangular wavelength is concerned. The next numerical determining the cut off wavelength. Notation of cut off wavelength is lambda c. So determine the cut off wavelength. Then group velocity. That means we need to calculate value of VGR. VGR stands for group velocity and phase velocity. That means we have to calculate value of VP. In rectangular wavelength of breadth ten centimeter, we know that breadth of a wavelength, breadth of a rectangular wavelength is denoted by notation small a. So it is ten centimeters, which is same as ten into ten raised to minus two meters. This is the given value of breadth a of breadth ten centimeter and having two point five gigahertz signal propagation. This value, two point five gigahertz, is the operating frequency. So f is two point five gigahertz. We have discussed this concept. Giga means ten raised to nine. So it is same as two point five into ten raised to nine 
हर्ट्स दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग फ्रिक्वेंसी एप विथ डॉमिनेंट मोड अगेन द सेम लॉजिक डॉमिनेंट मोड मीन्स दिस इज टी ई वन जीरो मोड नाउ लेट इज डू द कैलक्युलेशन सो फर्स्ट पार्ट वी हैव टू कैलक्युलेट द कट ऑफ वेवलेंथ just now we discussed cut off wavelength the notation is a lambda c and very very important part it is a dominant mode for dominant mode we have a ready made formula so for t10 mode that is dominant mode cut off wavelength lambda c is 2 times a a is the breadth of rectangular wave okay so it is 2a that is 2 into 10 cm that is equals to 20 cm this is the value of lambda c second calculation we have to calculate value of vgr vgr is the group velocity so we we need to calculate value of vgr this is the corresponding formula group velocity vgr is c c is the speed of light we have the equation we have the value c is 3 into 10 raised to 8 meters per second so it is c square root of 1 upon 1 minus fc by f bracket square ab dekho is numerical mein f ka value diya hai f matlab operating frequency fc is the cut off frequency which is not given so to calculate vgr first i need to do the calculation of fc fc is the cut off frequency for rectangular wave guide and if it is carrying a dominant mode this cut off frequency fc is given as c upon 2a so it is c upon 2a that is 3 into 10 raised to 8 upon 2a value of a is 10 cm so it is uh, it is 10 this two remains as it is 2 into 10 into 10 raised to minus 2 because it is 10 cm so this two remains as it is a is 10 into 10 raised to minus 2 meters so if you solve this value of this cut off frequency is 1.5 gigahertz see whenever the frequency is in some other notations as far as possible try to convert it in terms of gigahertz we know giga is 10 raised to 9 hertz so uh, we have the, got this value of fc that is cut off frequency now we have the ready made formula vgr is c that is speed of light so it is 3 into 10 raised to 8 square root of 1 upon 1 minus value of fc is 1.5 gigahertz so it is 1.5 into 10 raised to 9 divided by value of f f is operating frequency which is 2.5 gigahertz so 2.5 into 10 raised to 9 bracket square therefore if you solve this on the calculator then value of vgr is 240 into 10 raised to 6 meters per second you may well convert it in other units like kilometers per second and so on then third part phase velocity phase velocity is vp we have a ready made formula vp is c that is speed of light upon square root of 1 minus fc by f bracket square let us put the values i am talking about this uh, second formula so vp is 3 into 10 raised to 8 that is value of c divided by square root of 1 minus fc fc is 1.5 gigahertz so 1.5 into 10 raised to 9 divided by 2.5 into 10 raised to 9 bracket square again if you solve this answer of vp is 375 into 10 raised to 6 meters per second so as far as this uh, rectangular wave guide and the dominant modes are concerned that is t10 mode is concerned the numericals are pretty simple you just have to memorize this list of formulas so dear students that's it for today's session so thank you thanks a lot for watching this video